Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's exciting because we're going thrifting for the first time since we moved. I'm really curious what the vibes will be. I don't think there's a Goodwill here. I know there's a Value Village and I think this will be my first time at a Value Village, actually. But we came from Alabama, so I'm really curious to see the differences between what is donated in Alabama versus what is donated in Alaska. I mean, there has to be differences. That's what I would assume. So we'll go in and see. The goal today is to thrift for fall. I've been on TikTok so much recently, honestly, it's bad. But I've been getting fed these videos about fall outfits and everything you need for fall. You do not need anything for fall. Like what you have in your closet is good enough. But I know if I don't go thrifting or do something, I am going to be convinced to buy these things in these videos, even though I know right now I don't need them to go look for fall clothing. Even if I don't find anything today, just the act of looking for clothes for fall, I think will make make it so that I don't buy all of these things on TikTok that I definitely don't need. Best case scenario would be that I find a couple items, a handful of items at the thrift store today that play into the vibes that I want for my fall wardrobe and hopefully get everything at a fraction of the price. So that's what we're doing. We're going to the thrift store for the first time we're looking for items for fall. Let's head to the thrift store. It's the next day, everything's been washed and I'm really excited to show you what I got. My dog will probably be in and out of these shots because she is my little shadow today. She just will not leave my side today. So she might be kind of in and out, but I'm excited to show you everything that I got. And I actually want to start with some homewares. I did walk through the home section, even though I probably shouldn't have, but I got some cute things. So let's begin. First up, I got a couple of picture frames. Here's the first one. I just love the flower details on the corners. And I love that it's a smaller size. I have so many picture frames that are five by seven around there, but I don't have many that are smaller like this. And yeah, I just thought the flower design on the side was really cute. This is the second picture frame I got. It is a five by seven. I know I just said I had too many of these, but this one is different. It's a cute kind of blush color. I just thought it was really cute. I don't have any picture frames that are this color and I think it'll look really cute in my house. Next up, I got this teacup. I think it's vintage. It has these little flowers on it. I just thought it was really beautiful. I'm really excited to have my morning coffee in it. I don't need another mug, but here we are. <laughs> Last up for the home, homewares, home goods, is a pasta bowl. You can ask my husband. I have been wanting a bowl for pastas and salads and soups that isn't just one of our normal bowls, but I didn't wanna go out and spend a ton of money on more, um, more bowls. But I saw this one and I just thought this would be great for pizza, pizza, for pasta, soups, salads, things like that. Now onto the good stuff, the clothing. So first up is this Christmas sweater. I just thought it was so cute with the Christmas trees. It's 100% wool. There are no holes, no snags in the fabric, no missing sequins. It's in perfect condition. I've been on the lookout for probably a couple years now for a Christmas sweater that isn't too cheesy or over the top, but I thought this would be cute for Christmas parties or just Christmas activities in general. I'll probably just, yeah, pair this with jeans and some boots and call it a day, but I think it'll speak for itself and I think it'll be really cute. The second item of clothing I got was this t-shirt. Yes, it is just a t-shirt, but we are Packers fans in this household, and if you know anything about the Packers, it's the cheese head and their colors are bright green and yellow. You can't really miss them. So I saw this shirt and I thought this is perfect. I can wear it. My husband will probably wear it. This is 100% cotton and it was on sale, so I knew I had to snag it. And to go, to go with that shirt is actually a Packers vest. This is an official NFL shop vest. It's really nice quality. There's no holes or anything. Like I said, we are a Packers family. I can wear this. My husband can wear this. I'll probably wear it around the house, wear it to friends' houses, wear it to run errands during football season. It's just a basic green vest, but it's in great condition. And yeah, anything Green Bay around this house, we pretty much snag. 
Next up is this Land's End fleece. This is pretty similar to a flannel that I actually thrifted for my husband a couple of years ago, and I'm always stealing that from him. So I thought I would pick this up so that I don't have to keep stealing that flannel from him, at least as often. I see myself wearing this with jeans, leggings. That's a theme across uh, my fall fashion, I guess, is just what can I wear with jeans and leggings. I work from home, so being comfortable at home while I'm at work is imperative. So you can't have too many sweaters, in my opinion. And I needed some color in my wardrobe too, so this was a, an obvious choice. Next up is this shirt jacket. I guess you would call it a shirt jacket. It's kind of thin, but it zips up in the front. This is 100% cotton. The tag looks vintage. I don't know if it is, but it's super, super soft. Again, I sound like a broken record, but I see myself wearing this with jeans, running errands, lounging at home. Next up is another vest. This one is Canadian themed. It's from a store called Delane or Delaney. I'm sorry, I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, but I looked it up and they used to make leather goods like bags and I think jackets. There was a surprising amount of Canadian items at the thrift store. I mean, obviously I know Canada's right there and I have heard that a lot of Canadians move to Alaska. I have no idea if that's true, but at least at the thrift store, Canada was representing. So I do feel myself going into a bit of a vest phase. It's just perfect to throw on with activewear, leggings, jeans. It, they're so versatile and they're so good for the transitional months. This is obviously not cotton. I think both of the vests are 100% polyester, which normally I try to stay away from, but for activewear, I think it's okay, at least for me. Anyway, I thought it was cute. I'm going into my vest era and I'm really excited about it. Next up is another t-shirt. This one says Maine, the way life should be. You know, it's just a t-shirt that says Maine on it at the end of the day, but I'm always looking for t-shirts to go to the gym in. My gym has a pretty strict dress code. You have to be completely covered. So I'm always trying to grow my gym t-shirt collection. And I don't know if it's the trees or the moose or the navy blue, something about it just reads fall to me. This is 100% cotton. I don't know, dare I say I'll wear it with leggings, jeans, around the house, to the gym. I mean, it's a t-shirt. But honestly, I think it'd be cute to dress up for fall under a flannel or something. I don't really know. I don't need to defend myself. I got a cute main t-shirt. I have saved the best for last. You will not believe this. This is a 100% genuine leather jacket from this company. I'm not going to try to pronounce it. Well, I am. Donier, I assume it's French. It's 100%, the shell is 100% genuine leather. It's long, it's oversized. It's warm as heck. I have a black leather jacket, but it's more of a blazer style. This one is definitely more oversized and slouchy. I don't actually know how often I'll wear it here because where I live, you don't see people walking around town in big leather jackets. That's just not how people dress around here, I guess. And so I know I should be confident and just wear what I wanna wear, but I also don't wanna stand out too much. So I don't know what that means about me. So I didn't need this jacket because I already have the other one, but I just thought this one was different. It was cool. And this is a piece that I know I'll have in my closet for a long time. I plan to take care of it and love it well. And that concludes my thrift haul. I didn't go into the pants and bottoms section. It was so packed in there when I went, y'all. Like I was fighting people left and right to get through these aisles. So by the time I got through the tops and the jackets, I was bush. I was overwhelmed. I needed to go home. So unfortunately, I didn't make it to the jeans. I would have loved to get maybe some pants, some jeans, something like that, but maybe I'll just have to go back another day. Anyway, thank you so much for watching my video. Let me know in the comments your favorite item that I thrifted. Leave this video a thumbs up if you liked it and make sure you're subscribed to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye!